NPR's Top Pros Talk. Why technology companies should invest in PR. Featuring Karen Klein, Executive Vice President and Technology Sector Lead at BCW. And here's your host, Doug Simon. It's been in the news quite a bit about tech companies having layoffs. But our next guest actually thinks it's important for these tech companies to be increasing their PR and marketing spending. Karen, why is it so important that they continue to invest in PR and marketing? Well, it's a real critical time and resources are required to to keep communications internally, externally uh, at the forefront. So arguably, uh, more more investment in terms of the public relations and integrated communications function is is real critical to keep that storytelling uh, moving forward um, and really you know leaning in on some of the trends and other uh, opportunities out there to really uh, coalesce and 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 really provide an opportunity uh, to convey a brand in a in a very critical time and space. Yeah, given your experience working in the sector and your current role, um, you probably have really good advice on how tech companies can best utilize PR in this environment. Absolutely. And I think, you know, looking holistically at the communications mix is really important. So even down to the internal and employee uh, engagement and communications uh, to brand purpose and corporate reputation and crisis communications. So I think all of those aspects of the mix are are really critical and should be evaluated uh, by tech companies, even uh, in these uh, you know current technology environments and changes, economies and and all the surrounding uh, you know activity uh, around us. It's real imperative to be to be looking at those opportunities and and ways to convey. Yeah. And there are challenges after layoffs. Companies have been doing that with those that remain may have survivor guilt. People's roles are shifting. They may have to take on more responsibility. Does PR have a role in helping with that transition? I think absolutely. You know, I think if if there's no constant, it's change. And that's sort of the the beauty of PR and communications coming in to help manage those moments and, and various cycles. So I think, you know, in terms of just the shifts, the transitions that are happening in the tech space, particularly now, PR and communications is is one of those areas of business, and it is a critical aspect of business, uh, to keep, you know, those resources and communications steady uh, and present through that duration. Does the role of the agency change in this kind of environment? Are you finding you're being asked to do different things or even sort of leading some of the companies you work with? to do things a bit differently. The agency really serves as that trusted partner when things are moving forward, when things are stagnant, you know, in terms of those business cycles, uh, the PR agency role is is really that partner, um, guiding, uh, providing different levels of counsel through the, the different work streams and changes. So I think really it's a it's a critical role and a, a partner trusted partner role, and and we're seeing across our client base you know really rising to that occasion um, you know and and really serving that capacity to our, our client partners and C suite. Yeah, are you seeing any cuts with the internal tech teams as part of these layoffs, which might be expanding the role of what the agency provides? Because obviously the strategy, this guidance, there's arms and legs to execute. Yeah, I mean, I think our team has that sort of versatility and we're able to, the the, the beauty of the technology sector and team uh, is really, it sits across all levels and disciplines of the organization. So there's a lot of movement. Um, and, and so we are, we are seeing uh, the ability to to move those resources to the, the needs of the business and certainly the needs of our, our tech and business partners. One of the things that you're really advanced at is using the emerging technology and platforms to assist in what you and your clients are trying to accomplish. Can you share a little bit about some of those platforms that you're engaging with? Yeah, Metaverse is definitely top of mind for all, if not most, of our our client partners. Uh, I think pandemic has afforded a little escalation on that path just to afford new opportunities of experience and ways to engage with technology. And I think we'll see more and more of that, especially in the realms of education and health and medical. I think it's one of those that is 
uh, a, an adoption opportunity as well, and it'll take some time. But I think the the marriage of technology and experience there really equates nicely with the whole metaverse right. uh, example. And I I know our clients are certainly eager and excited. Uh, many uh, are are implementing initiatives around metaverse. Uh, in their day to day, whether it's in, in an internal capacity or with partners and customers as part of the overall experience and brand opportunity. That's really interesting that you're leading the way on that as well. One last question is the area of security. How does that fit into conversations about technology and what are some of the many levels that are involved? Well, every client is having the security conversation and data protection and automation as part of either larger digital transformation initiatives or just general best practices of business. I think we live in very unique times and circumstances. So there is there is guarding to do. There is a lot of protecting to do. And it's top of mind for, for all of our clients and executive leaders, even at the board level. So we're going to continue to see uh, those layers of security, uh, identity, and data protection uh, as part of uh, ongoing conversations, certainly. And, and, and as we're seeing with our technology PR team, uh, really an opportunity to to support our business partners uh, on that front. A key part of the role of a tech PR person is education, both to your client and within your own organization. What are some of the key tactics, approaches that you take to make that a successful endeavor? Education is key. You know, our, our tech team, certainly at BCW, keeps very close to all the trends, the news cycles. Uh, new emerging opportunities and innovations that can be helpful to, you know, building narratives and, and storylines and, and storytelling for our client partners. So I think there's absolutely uh, learnings and studying to be done as we as we explore and further around the education. We see this not only in the emerging technologies, but environments like metaverse uh, and how those are adopted can be implemented to uh, enhance an experience, a message, a purpose. Uh, so we're really excited about that. But education is key as part of our day to day, um, not only as as team members, but educators to our client partners. Right. Well, I don't think I could have had a better experience speaking with you and helping you share your tremendous knowledge on such important topics. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you so much for the opportunity.